thieves in the West Valley targeting a motorsports business again, making off with trailers and parts for the second time in as many months. And this time, a very expensive and heavy piece of equipment was stolen, and the owner of the shop wants the community to keep an eye out for this. Matt Galka is live to tell us more tonight. Matt. Yeah, guys, MCSO is trying to help this shop owner out, but I want to put this into perspective for you. The piece of machinery we're talking about is about this size. It weighs about 6,000 pounds. That's three tons. And if it showed up at my house, I wouldn't know what to do with it, and I doubt many others would. But this shop owner would like it back. Chris Hunter makes a living buying, selling, and manufacturing small motorcycles. Affordable power sports in Avondale is typically stocked with the mini machines. And to try and crank them out faster, he invested in a specialized machine to help make parts. But it's gone now. Ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. So it, uh, it wasn't a very cheap excursion to go out and get that machine. Hunter's machine and the trailer it was on was taken by thieves earlier this week. He was keeping it off site near the store behind lock and key. Hunter says the thieves attached the trailer to a Chevy Tahoe and took off. We have been fortunate enough to recover some stolen property in the past, so uh, we're just hoping that the community can come together and help us find this and maybe put some bad guys away and make it a little better Christmas for everybody. The irony? Hunter's shop sits across the street from the Avondale Jail. You can see the police cars through the gate. And whoever has his trailer now is probably having a tough time. It weighs about 6,000 pounds with the machine on it. He says the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is reviewing security footage. It was very heavy. It would require a crane or a boom lift to be removed from the trailer due to its location. So it's not something that just your average Joe would be able to swing down to a pawn shop or to a scrap yard and get rid of very easily. One more thing to note, Hunter actually has the switches that turn the machine on. So it's about ten to fifteen thousand dollars if it's operable, which it isn't in its current form. Now, he says the trailer itself is about 1500 bucks, so he's offering a reward of $1,000 if he gets his stuff back and an extra $500 if somebody's arrested for taking it. We're live tonight, Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News.